Hey everyone, welcome back to the Vintage Super League. Uh, looks like we're in the match now. We're going to be watching uh, Randy Bueller play against Kai Bude. And uh, hopefully this match will be closer than the last one, huh? <laughs> I'm fine either way. Yeah. yeah. This, this time I don't have to sit through it waiting to click the concede button. Yeah, yeah. I uh, Tom was asked because he did commentary. Tom was asking me why I didn't go for Tinker earlier in game one. And uh, I could have, but I, I just thought, like, it was safer not to, and I had it all at, every, at all points. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah, there was no, no, none of the games that I want to wait till turn two to click concede. But I figured we'll let people see how the deck plays out a little bit more when you have the nut draw. But then you just had it again and then again. So I'm seeing something that displeases me in uh, in Kai's hand, and that's the you know Vol Voltaic key from the l latest edition here. Yeah, it, that is brutal. Yeah, but uh. Looks like both players are on, well, something kind of aggressive because Randy's got a hand of Mind's Desire and Time Twister. I'm actually okay with you calling the the key in Kai's hand Voltaic, since uh, you don't you don't like to pronounce that word Voltaic. But if you want to use it to like use the crappy not Urza's version, like I'm I'm all for it. Like, <laughs> just insult that thing. Yeah. So, so it looks like Randy's on mono blue Char Belcher. He was talking about this deck. He, he had to mulligan his first hand because it had a uh, Mox Opal, but not three artifacts. And now he's got Preordained Chrome Mox, Pact of Negation. <laughs> it's Expedition yeah. Map to just get Academy. That's the only land in the deck. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, his hands... Is it great? I can't really tell. Uh, Randy's hand is actually not bad. Uh, but Kai's hand is, is actually... Well, it's great ish. He he's got library, but he can't if he if he plays Ruby to have Pyroblast up, then he can't use library and his hand has no blue, so it doesn't do anything besides library. Can we get our spotter on the floor to tell Kai to make his hand a little bigger? That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Ooh. Lotus Petal has to be good for Randy. He can uh Yeah, sure. Any mana source that's an artifact seems like so it would be a good job. Turn one he can go Chromox, imprint preordain, cast mana vault. Cast Expedition Map, Sack Expedition Map, play Lotus Petal, get Academy, cast Char Belcher with Pack Backup, then upkeep Char Belcher Kai with a Pack Trigger on the stack. So I think Randy's just going to win here <laughs> if he goes for it and Kai doesn't draw anything relevant. That does sound like a good turn. I mean, I guess I you know a lot about going off turn one, so it <laughs> sounds like a great move. To be fair, I didn't have Jace or Notion Thief and play one of those games. That was the game I lost, you know, on turn one. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty great. I actually, you know, I knew we had a great deck. Let's put it that way. The deck is great. I actually went and bought a bunch of, like, foil copies and made, you know, made sure I have a full copy of the deck looking as nice as you possibly can to have for myself because I think this deck is just completely busted. And... My draws actually weren't terrible. Like, I got far more unlucky last week. I mean, I had to mulligan eight times against Dave and was still able to win. Like, that's how powerful the deck was. I mean, we just played a full mirror where my draws were fine. I think I would have beaten a lot of decks and a lot of draws. But the deck is capable of so many amazing things. And you got to highlight that with a... I mean, you didn't even have Black Lotus the third time. Just yeah. cast Jay's turn. I mean, I wasn't kidding when my draws on... You know, we're about a 10 out of 10. Maybe a 9.5 because I didn't have Force Will back up one of the games, but uh, <laughs> about as close to 10 as you get. Well, the, the only time you didn't have Force Will back up, you went turn 1 Thoughtsy, so you could go turn 2 Jace. So, That's true. I mean, because I had Force Will. So Randy is going to go for it here because that's what this deck does. And uh, Kai could have played Ruby to have Pyroblast up, but Pyroblast doesn't stop Char Belcher, and Randy has a pack negation anyway. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. What is the blue card? I believe that's a preordain. Also, versions like that should be banned because they're they're much harder to tell what they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm no longer on the Kai bandwagon. Can we get a new town? <laughs> <laughs> or at least give, it, give him cards that are, are real life. So Kai needs to draw like a needle here, and then play a and have Pyroblast backup because other than that, he's just dead. Gets to look at the patch negation in Randy's hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
So it's still not clear what Kai's playing because he's he's got all the cards that go in just like kind of an average blue deck. Like, yeah, he, you know, he might not know that Randy doesn't have any more lands in this deck, and he's already seen Expedition Map, so maybe just try to survive this Belcher, see what happens. Also, you might as well look at Randy's deck. <laughs> sure, I'm saying, like, Kai might not realize that he's just dead. I assume he's just dead. Kaboom. Misdirected. Frustration. Right. And there we go. So Randy said he wanted to play six exhibition matches. Is that right? <laughs> Welcome to Orange County. It, Minus thirty-five, classic guys. The good thing is, I, I, I just okay. Randy's Randy's exposed cards right now. Yeah, I'm guessing. The good thing is for uh, for Kai is. It almost assuredly is going to get better for him after some sideboard. Not only is Randy playing a deck that basically can't sideboard, it's a super linear deck. So, yeah. I mean, that being said, are... Go ahead. Randy had a turn one kill with pack backup. That's good against a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Not everything. It is good. So. The best part. What guys bring to the table here on the sideboard, you can you can have some real nice things, mind break traps, and I'm sure he has tons of artifact removal. Which I saw don't. some ingot chewers, which is actually going to be decent too, because uh, I think a lot of the time Randy's going to go Belcher Pass because getting to four is a lot more realistic than getting to seven. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't, I didn't actually see his list. I guess are you looking at it? Like, do you have a copy of it? I don't have a copy of it, but uh, I'm just incredibly knowledgeable about vintage, so I, I already know what's in the list. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I could catch a glimpse of Kai sighting and he could <laughs> Yeah, I saw that too. Um, <laughs> like, what kind of other ritual effects does this deck have? Because, of course, like, the legacy version's full of Rite of Flame, Seething Songs, Tinder Walls, all that. I don't think it has any. I think it just has all Artifact Mana and Draw Sevens. It's probably not very good against Norod, but Kai's playing a deck with Voltaic Key, so it probably doesn't have Norods in it. Yeah, Voltaic, because it's not the correct art, of course. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for those who are wondering. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, artifact mana is rituals. Of course, those are legal and legacy for the most part, but um, there aren't that many artifacts that produce mana. I mean, you have all the cards with mana in the name and mocks in the name, but yeah, it doesn't go so too much further past that. Ten, ten moxes, lotus petal, lotus mana crypt. You can play a lot of moxes, though, right? You can play. I think you can play ten. Four, four. Four Mox Opals and a Chrome Mox? Is that, oh, no, you can play four Chrome Moxes. You can play as many Chrome Moxes. Yeah, so, so it's probably just got the full 13 Moxes. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like we're hop, hop, hopping into game two. Does so he have Grim Monoliths? You can play a bunch of Voltaic Keys, right? I would assume so. I mean, I know you're extremely knowledgeable, so... As the chat pointed out, I shouldn't have said I was extremely knowledgeable about vintage. There was no reason to put the vintage part on there. <laughs> I thought you weren't even supposed to be in the league. You're so unknowledgeable. <laughs> now you, that, gotta that, prove, you have to prove yourself. That so, was called. <laughs> one more try. So again, Randy, again, again is going to have to mulligan here just because double mox opal hand can't get the first man. I mean, this is like all the Belcher decks in history that... If you can't get to one, then you have to mulligan, and a lot of times you just can't get to one. But once you get to one, you get a, you get a lot farther. Yeah, getting getting to one is a good start. Kai again with a library, no other mana hand, but he has mental misstep and force of will. So, jeez, yeah, Randy's monster. Yeah, Randy's gonna attempt to go off here. He's <laughs> gonna see the force in the misstep though. Yeah, that makes it a little harder. Wow, it's a good card. Well, he's, he's got literally infinite mana. Yep, if not more. And if you're Kai, if you didn't have the library, I think you'd be more inclined to misstep here, but given that you have a library, it's pretty not good to misstep. You can just hard cast light steel, right? Uh, yeah, I don't... Which is literal I, infinite man. I don't know if Rind even has a blight steel or not. Yeah, also, he's not remotely close, but... Yeah. Still very good. I, ca I hard cast blight, blight steel during the Vintage League. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But it was against Feeble Raptor, who didn't win any matches. <laughs> and by that, I mean I got incredibly unlucky. And he also got unlucky to, to not to not win his last match, I think. Yep, yeah, that was an interesting one. 
Randy you also Pitt. cast multiple blight steals against me in a vintage challenge. Well, that's true. I'm still getting annihilated, but you had fun, so that's what counts. Randy peels the pact, but he knows that Kai has misdirection and force of will, so it wouldn't work out all that well. He's probably just going to draw another one right now, though, right? I would assume so. That's what his deck's built to do. And a word from our spotter is that uh, Randy's looking at a Preordain and Ancestral Recall right now. Or rather, a Gitaxian Pope and Ancestral Recall. But either way, he could Ancestral recall. Ancestral Recall super bad against the stand. He's already yeah. He he's seen all those cards, so. I, I would you keep the ancestral? I'm not clear what I mean. Maybe Randy's plan is to go ancestral. Kai misdirects it. You packed Kai forces, then you tinker. But. But you have to go off. Well, I guess you have to avoid the red mana. Yeah, you have to avoid the red mana, and Kai at the end of this draws three cards. I think. Well, not if he starts with misdirect and gets back. Oh wait, no, he gets to force that. Yeah, he does get to draw three cards. This, this does not seem. CV. Unless there's other artifacts you could tinker for that are not going to tie to the Belcher. Have you uh, considered that Randy wants to go to Game 3 to play more Vintage Super League? <laughs> You're making another great point. <laughs> you were wise by on your many, many, many years. <laughs> but that does make me very wise, at least. <laughs> yeah, there are so many years. So, Kai's got to know that there's a bait card going here, but... I don't know. I mean, I, I still feel like there's a pretty good chance you just force it, draw three. Well, no, Randy can actually belch right away, so never mind. This is, Kai actually has to let this happen, I think. He doesn't He doesn't get the extra... He doesn't get an extra turn here. Yeah, he can just let the pact resolve. The ancestor resolve. Now he's got to pay for the pact. So he can draw, like, red mana so he's to kill an artifact. He can't pay for pact? Yeah, Kai's actually not in great shape here. This is... This, this looks better than it did on upon first inspection. Yeah. I, I did not realize that he still had the mana floating from Academy, so it's not bad. Uh, so Kai, let's Pact Resolve. Let's Ancestral Resolve. And then forces Tinker, or he forces and just hopes to draw another force in a blue card here? Yeah, he needs to hit Jin off this Ancestral, right? Yeah. Yeah, that mana floating. Get your ancestral misdirect in the same turn and still win. That seems about right. Beating with a misdirect ah, ancestral. Crystal Wolf too, and didn't hit the blue card. All right. <laughs> well, that was quick. So. Is Kai still in the league, or...? No, I, I, I think the fact that he died on turn one twice means that we just look for a replacement. And there's yeah. a Void Snare. <laughs> he just showed he does not have what it takes. Yeah. Vintage Kai's. <laughs> or, oh, that was an interesting display of vintage. Maybe, maybe the question we should be asking isn't whether Kai is still in the, in the league, is whether he still wants to be in the league. <laughs> yeah. We've like, oh, this three is, matches? And someone has gone off on turn one six times. <laughs> well. <laughs> How many times has it happened, like, the entire nine weeks, plus we've even, had, like, last week? It just never we've happened. Had, we've had zero actual turn one kills, right? Actual turn one kills? He just did it. Well, until this. I mean, in the actual league. Uh, I mean, we're not counting time vault key? No, if you, if you count that, there was one, I guess, right? Yeah. So, yeah. it's not too bad. I mean, there's a lot of things you can count. It, it depends on your definition of turn one kill. I guess resolving a Jace and having a Force of Will in hand is like pretty close in terms of actual does it lead to victory, but... <laughs> you have the degree check mark next to your name. 100% yeah. holding. <laughs> it's a good spot, put that way. So we're going to find out if uh, we're battling anymore or we're just uh, calling it a night on that note. I, I think they're actually going to play again because that took about 35 seconds. <laughs> Is it a rematch, or are we ushering in a new match? So we're going to go to our secondary feature match, still featuring Kai. Alright, looks like we're going to go to a quick break. We're going to have uh, Kai versus Bob Marr uh, coming up next. <laughs> 